What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Edmonton Oilers and here we are going into the playoffs. Finish the season at 43, 24, and 15. Decent locker room chemistry, 75%, not too bad. And we're taking on the Anaheim Ducks in the first round. So let's uh, see what our opponent has to offer here. There, oh yeah, we got we gave them Pooley Arvey, who's now 22 at 85. Okay, Pooley Arvey, Raquel Sprong, we got not bad. Uh, Perry, Raquel, Kasha, that's not a great second line, but good experience. Um, Richie Steele, Silverberg, that's a pretty good third line, though, if it's indeed like that, although it says he's injured. So is Henrik's injured, too. They got Lundestrom and Shore still. And um, they have Max Jones, Terry Sherwood, they got some pretty decent depth. Their second line's a bit weaker, but then again, so is ours. Our, 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 the only thing that's much, much better is our center. Um, technically, our offense is a bit better than theirs, though. Defensively, I, they're, yeah, they're pretty solid. 89, 85. Not that great, but it's solid enough. But they have Gibson. So, that's what we got to watch out for. John Gibson. He can steal the show. He can definitely steal the show. And compared to us... I mean, let's take a look at that offense. Like, first line similar, second line kind of similar. Besides the center, third line. I think our depth on the third line slightly better. Fourth line, it's either kind of either way almost. But um, it kind of does look like we haven't beaten a lot of different areas. But so much of our team is young, and they also have John Gibson. And I don't think Markstrom is going to outplay Gibson by any means. We might have to. I don't know. If worse comes to worse, we could try Stallars if uh, Markstrom's doing that poorly, but we'll see. And uh, I am keeping this move in mind. If Col if the second line isn't doing well, I'm going to move Kovalchuk down to uh, the third line and move Dimitrakos back up because that combination seemed to work really well. But for the playoffs, since Kovalchuk's got like experience and poise, I'm going to keep him on the second line, see how he does. And then if it's not working out too well, I'll go put him down the third line, get Dimitrakos up there onto the second again. Because that combination did good in the year. Dimitrakos, Drysaddle, Yamamoto. So that's uh, that's the idea here. Anyway, we winning the center battle. And perhaps should win this series, but John Gibson, a hot goaltender, can change pretty much the entire outlook of any series. And that's what you got to worry about here. So let's get into it. Game one on the road. But... We got to come in there and make a statement. Let's go, Edmonton. All right, they've already got three shots on net. We're starting to catch back up in shots, starting to take the lead, starting to pour on the shots, but Gibson standing tall in net. Shots are even, but Leon Dreisaitl is the first to bury one here in the first. One to nothing. Look at the shots. Not much defense is being played. They had a five on three, and looks like we killed off that penalty. What an open first period. 14 shots to 13, but... One to nothing lead for Edmonton here. That's great. It's a good start. Second period. Let's go. Second period. All right. Tyler Benson on the fourth line and Andre Sakara. Okay. Dylan Sprong stops the bleeding, but two early goals here. About 30 seconds apart into this. In, uh, yeah. Early into the second. We have a three to one lead. Oh, another power play for Anaheim. Killed that off as well. Come on. Yeah. This period with that two goal lead. That'll be great. Come on, there it is, 3-1, 28 shots to 29, still a very even game, but we have capitalized, we got we, we got what we needed, so third, we just got to shut them down here in the third period, I don't know if our team's great shut down, but let's see what'll happen, third period, let's go Edmonton, shut them down, that's all we need to do is just close the door, 15 minute mark, quarter of the way there, keep it going, they are getting some shots. Shots are still even. So many shots are being taken. 10-minute mark. They have not scored yet. We're looking good. Markstrom shutting the door. Five minutes left. Kruger gets a sweetener, and that will do it for game one. Fourth line got two goals. Good job. Depth goal scoring. Four to one victory in game one. That's huge. That was kind of the opposite of what I thought it would be. I thought they would win like at 4-1, to one, but Markstrom did incredible. 42 save performance. Sakara goal and an assist. Kruger with a goal and an assist as well. The unlikely heroes basically got the job done. That's, yeah, we'll take it. We need that depth goal scoring. And we got it. So game one in the books going to us. Very interesting. Yeah, I am 
I'll take it. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'll take it. Let's see what happens, because Markstrom played out of his mind, and Gibson kind of did average. Is that going to actually be the case here in the next game? Game two. I don't know. I think we're going to see a response here from Anaheim. Anaheim, they got to be pissed about that game. Let's see what happens here. We're going to have a, another high shooting game. Eberle opens up the scoring early into the first, and the Oilers continue to strike gold against this team, killing off yet another power play of theirs. Great job. Maintaining the lead, the shot lead as well. Yeah, there's still a lot of shots. They're not getting as much, but yeah, they're starting to catch up now. Still a lot of shots being taken. We get out of the first with the lead. One to nothing, 13 shots to nine. It doesn't look like a whole lot of defense is being played. It looks like we're the more comfortable team in a wide open back and forth game because we just seem to be capitalizing on our chances. And yeah, Markstrom's coming up big. Can't really say much else. Second period, let's go. Let's extend that lead. One is not enough. Let's get more. McJesus, first line, get going again. I know Everly got it, but I want, I want more. I want to see that first line really go ham here. All right, not much happening so far. Shots are even. Anaheim starting to starting to get more of an advantage here in the second period, but they still have not found the back of the net against Markstrom. After the second, it's still one to nothing. They have 23 shots on Markstrom here, and there's still another period to go. <laughs> Markstrom is shutting the door. We only have 18 shots. We need another goal. I'm not comfortable with one goal lead. This could disappear quickly. Dreisaitl, someone needs to come up on that on that second line. Let's go. You know, Kovalchuk, get going. Someone's got to come up huge here. Power play. Here we go. Now's the time. No, could not capitalize on that chance. Come on, guys. Where's the insurance? 10-minute mark. Oh, power play for Anaheim. We kill it off. Holy crap. Edmonton Oilers, five minutes left. Come on, guys. Hold it. Shut the door, Markstrom. Shut the door. Holy shit. A one to nothing shutout victory. 37 save shutout for Markstrom. And he is i don't know, his first start again obviously 37 save shutout gibson second start because he did great and everly with the game winner gets the third star yeah goaltender duel no one could generate offense though unreal we just we got the goal and we held on jesus markstrom is playing well above his pay grade right now and i <laughs> and i don't really know what the hell else is happening we have a two to nothing series lead and we're going into home ice right now we're going into home eyes. This, I don't think this is supposed to happen like this, but uh, I guess let's go. <laughs> All right. Game three. Home ice. Let's go. Let's get it done. Come on, Edmonton. Let's see if we can get the job done. Power play to start things off. Can we get a quick one? No, we cannot. Power. Oh, no, that was for them. Yeah, we're on the other side. Oh, no, don't score. Damn, they're out shooting us like crazy. Yeah, I was looking at the <laughs> same side I was just on. Still not used to going back to this yet, guys. We'll figure it out. And VC opens up the scoring. Osborne gets a quick second one. And two to nothing at the end of the first. What is going on? Gibson cannot stop a beach ball right now. And Markstrom just can't be stopped. A two to nothing lead. After the first period. Keep it going, Edmonton. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, here we go. Power play. Power play. No. Pooley Arvey scores shortly after the power play. So, Markstrom's shutout streak is over here after 70-something minutes. Oh, uh, and Shearwood ties it up. Oh, no. Yeah, here comes Anaheim. And Edmonton, now we need to respond. We've blown the lead. And out of that second period, tied at two. Shots 23 to 22. Anaheim came out strong. Gibson started shutting the door. This is where it gets dangerous. We need we need another goal here. Come on, Edmonton. Someone's got to step up. Kovalchuk, we're missing you, man. You need to get a goal here. Okay. Shut up. No, no power play goal for them. Uh-oh, another one. And Sam Steele scores on what looks like a double minor. Oh no, it's a 3-2 to two lead here late. Edmonton needs a tying goal. They've blown a two-goal lead. A power play late. Can they get one? Can they score? Yes! Osborne! Bo Osborne with 36 seconds left. Ties the game. And it's going to overtime. 33 shots to 31. Oh, the young kid comes up huge. A big shot from the high slot. Blast by Gibson. And overtime will have to be played. Who's clutch? Who's clutch? Dreisaitl? 
Kovalchuk, McDavid, who's coming up with the clutch goal? Maybe Barry? Let's go. Overtime, let's go Edmonton. Oh, power play to start off, and we get it, it's Barry! I called him out and he delivered. Oh, Tyson Barry wins it in overtime, and Edmonton is taking a three to nothing stranglehold on this series. What a game for Osborne. Three point night for the rookie. Two goals and an assist, also hit somebody. B Barry, a goal and an assist, and McDavid with three assists and a hit. What a game for the first line. You need your big guys to come up huge in big games. And they did exactly that. Our first line. Absolutely. Oh, screw. I don't get this. That's HL. I don't even think any of this matters because they're not making the playoffs. So I could just honestly best lines it and they'll be done, eh? Yeah. Just best lines. Really don't matter. They are all done. All right. Anyway. um, Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> we, are, we are one... Yeah, we are one game, one game away from sweeping Anaheim in round one. This is really surprising. I did not expect this to happen like this really in any way. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. This is, this is crazy. But we're here, and <laughs> we have a big chance to sweep Anaheim. Let's, without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm keeping the lines how they are. It seems to be working. W's are the only thing that matters right now. So let's go. Game by game. Let's just get the W. Let's go. Okay. Sprong opens it up. First shot, first goal on Markstrom. Power play. Can we respond here? No, we cannot. So it remains one to nothing. Franham, we've got the majority of the shots. They're still working on that only one shot, but they were able to find a way to capitalize. But Tyler Benson ties the game up at one, and we are just out shooting them like crazy, out playing them all the way across the board. Can we get another one as this period comes to a close? We cannot. One to one. 17 shots to five, though. Wow, they got the early start with the goal, but we dominated play ever since then. Edmonton just seeming like the better team across the board. Let's go. Second period. Keep going. Let's get another one. Let's find a way on Gibson to get another one. Hey, we haven't gotten a shot yet. There we go. Get a couple there. Power play. Pouring the shots on Gibson. Shutting the door so well, though. We're doubling them in shots, and the score is tied. We got to find a way to solve Gibson here. We gotta, we gotta solve Gibson. We get, we solve him one more time. I think, we, I think we can win this game. You just need one more, and then we need to shut things down. Thirty shots to sixteen. Unreal performance by Gibson so far. It's only the end of the second. Big third period, guys. McDavid, Osborne, can you come up big again? Let's see what will happen. Third period. Come on now, Edmonton. Get, get us a goal. Get us a goal. Come on now. Oh my goodness. The 10 minute mark. We are almost at 40 shots. Still only one goal for. My goodness, we're out shooting them like crazy. Pouring the shots on and Gibson. Could, oh no! Oh no, they did it to us and they get an empty netter just after that. Oh, the heartbreak comes back to on us this time. Richie scores with 25 seconds left. And then an empty netter for Raquel. Mere seconds later as we try to pull the goalie and maybe try to get that tied up. That's a heartbreaking loss. 46 shots to 28. And we lose 3-1 to one with an empty netter. Gibson, he just he did get, would get what I thought he would do this entire series. What a performance from Gibson. Raquel, two points. Sprong, two points. Yet yeah, we couldn't solve that line. Couldn't get the goal scoring ourselves. A monster game from Gibson. What can you do? Not much. Not much we could have done in that situation. Like... That's just a hot goal. Now I'm worried. They have a hot goaltender. If he continues being hot, we could honestly lose this series. They do not want to lose this other game. Let's finish. It is on the road. This is getting dangerous. We start giving them momentum here, and they can easily come back and force a game set. Not easily, but they can force a game seven, and we do not want that. We're young. We cannot choke now. Come on, Edmonton. Let's go. Come on, guys. Game five. Come on. Finish them off. Finish them off. Shut the door. Let's go. Find a way to solve Gibson. There, oh, Dibby Trakos with a shorthanded goal to start things off. But Sprong, a goal ties it up, man. That line's killing us. Raquel, Sprong, whoever else is on there. All right, all right. Tie game, and now they're out shooting us. Now they're out shooting us. We need another goal here. We need to solve Gibson. We need more shots to do so. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Seven shots to 14. They're doubling us after the first tie game, though. Tie game. And we got that shorty, so special teams are doing good, but we need that 5-on-5 five five to get going. 
Come on now, Edmonton. Second period, step it up. Another power, uh, power play for them. We kill it off. Come on now, someone. First line, second line. Someone's got to get going. Kovalchuk, get going. Someone, help us out. Damn, they're out shooting us so heavily right now. Come on, Edmonton. No, stop taking penalties. My God, we're giving them chance after chance. And Corey Perry takes the lead for Anaheim. And my goodness, 34 shots to 16. 34 shots to 16. We're getting heavily outplayed here. This is not good. Not good, Edmonton. Wake up. Wake up. We got a game to play. We have one goal, and it's from the penalty kill. We have, we have the penalty kill out there so much more. Come on, guys. Let them fire you up. Come on. <sighs> Someone's got to score, man. There you go. Darnell Nurse creeps in on the rush, joins it, and shoots it in from the high slot to tie the game. And Leon Dreisaitl from a tough angle takes the lead for Edmonton. Power play for Anaheim. The refs doing everything they can to get him back in the game. And Kasha ties it up at three. Fucking hell. 41 shots to 26. No! No, fuck you, no! Sprong takes the lead! Edmonton, late goal. Tie this up, baby. Come on, late goal! Fuck me, man. Oh, and Anaheim. Another clutch victory that they definitely deserved. Look at the shots. Look at how they outplayed us. We, ugh. we got it back, but then we gave it away. We gave it away, man. The, the youth of this team is starting to show through. They're having trouble closing out a series. Oh, man. And Anaheim has won two games in a row to force a game six. Gatslav, yeah, you expect the three assist nights. Dimitrakos has done great. And you know what? Kovalchuk has just not gotten the job done. I don't think so in these last few games. I might have to move up Dimitrakos onto that line. It's feeling like that's what I got to do. Yeah, McDavid's point per game, but we need more. We need someone to get be, be doing better than point per game. Namely, that'd be great to be McDavid. Yeah, two assists, not good enough, man. Four points for you. Only one for Yamamoto, man. Maybe I should move him down. Maybe I should move Kako up and Dimitrakos up and go Yamamoto, Kovalchuk, Nugent. Let's do that. Let's shake up that second line a bit. They ain't doing too good. Dreisaitl's getting points, but I think some of those are on the power play. Eh? None of them, actually. Weird. Okay. Well, he's getting points. Anyway, let's do this. Get Dimitrakos and Kako on that line because they... I liked what Dimitrakos was doing. He was, oh, that was only one game, but still. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with this combination. Try Yam mode on Kovalchuk down on the third line. Because, I mean, one point. Yeah, that's not good enough. Nuge has got nothing. Yeah, we just need to shake things up, clearly. At least the fourth line's going. And you know what? Markstrom's doing fine. Nothing wrong with his play. Stollers had to... Was that a whole game that he played? Not quite. The hell? What'd he do? He led three goals. It was a whole game. Well, he got the win, and maybe it wasn't a whole game. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Not too sure what that's about, but all right. Unless that... Oh, that might have not... That might even been from another year. I didn't even look at the year. It doesn't matter. Let's sim up to the next game here. Game six. This is home, man. We got We got to close out the series right now. We cannot let them go to a game seven on their eyes. We've changed up a bit of the lines. I'm not going to change up my defense or anything like that. I think it's I think it's doing okay. I just need we need some better production here, <sighs> and hopefully some shutdown. But just try to outscore the <laughs> just try to outscore them here. That's that's our that's our goal. Oh man, taking penalties. All right, didn't allow them to score. They're out shooting us, and they're getting a majority of the power plays here. This is not good. They're really starting to outplay us here. We've got to find a gutsy way to win. We've got to just ugh, we got to beast it out, man. They're really showing us why age and experience can matter here in the playoffs they've been just severely outplaying us since they're going down three to nothing Silverberg one to nothing Edmonton is in trouble we need to get going guys come on score a goal Gibson's getting hot their whole team is on fire right now and we cannot find an answer we're trying but we cannot find an answer come on Edmonton get a goal solve Gibson solve Gibson's Markstrom's doing his part we need to just score for the guy Come on, Edmonton. Oh, my God. After two, one to nothing still. 28 shots to 19. Come on, guys. Someone's got to find the back of the net. Someone's got to find the back of the net. Come on, Edmonton. No. Kill that. Kill that. Kill that. Good kill. Good kill. Come on. Come on, Edmonton. Find the back of the net. Get some shots. You got to shoot the puck to score. Shoot the puck to score. Jordan Eberle, the first line, comes up. 
Oh, thank God. We at least tied it. Oh, my God. And Max Jones takes the lead right back as if it's nothing. And Edmonton is breaking down. And Edmonton forces a game seven on our ice. We cannot win. Holy crap. We can't score. This is, yeah, Markstrom did great, but Gibson did better. I mean, not really. You can't really, I, oh my God, they forced a the fucking game seven. This is ridiculous. I hate this. I hate this goddamn game right now. McDavid's doing fine. What is happening? Is the second line doing anything? No, they didn't get a single thing in that in that game. Fucking hell. Get, I don't know. Try to go back to the seat. No, you know what? No, no, we're overhauling. We're overhauling. We got to get Dreisaitl on that top line. Let's stack that top line. We'll keep Kovalchuk down here, I guess. He ain't doing too much. I'm going to get Osborne in the middle because he's got 78 face-offs, I think. Osborne, Yamamoto, Sniper, Playmaker, two-way forward. I'm going to go with that combination. We're going balls to the wall here. We're going to keep this third line. Keep that fourth line, obviously. All the pairings. Yeah, Sakara's dropping off. Figured that would happen. This is what we got to go with right here. This is it. Wait, you know what? How's that? They're in minus one. Eh, it's not bad, honestly, for where they're at. Feel better. Yeah, obviously. Got to have him in rather than bear. Okay. Well, game seven. This is where it's all on the line. We're putting McDavid back with Dreisaitl. Nooch has not gotten a single point. Which is pretty pathetic. He's on power play. He's on the second line. Like, that's really pathetic. Yeah, we have him on a better extension, but still, that's actually pathetic, not getting a point. Like, look, he's he's had, he's had guys with a chance to succeed. He's played with Capo, Kako, Dimitrakos, Kovalchuk, Yamamoto. Like, you've had a chance to succeed, Nuge. You got to score at some point. I mean, we got Tyler Benson getting three points. Point Like, our fourth line are all outscoring you. They're all point five point per game, Nuge. You got to get going at some point. Got to do something. And that's why he's not on the second line. He hasn't deserved it. Any of these guys have better face-offs? Yamamoto, no, he only has 75. How about, about Dimitrov? He has the same sort of face-offs. Hmm. I'm going to keep him in the center. Yeah, I'll keep him in the center. I was thinking about having a two-way forward there to play center because it eh, that actually is still kind of better, I think. But let's keep Osborne on the one time. Yeah, let's try that. A more defensive player to play center. I think that will be slight. I don't know if it'll be slight, but I'm trying it. We'll see. Now this is it. All on the line here. Game seven. We lose this game. We ch we we got reverse swept. We cannot allow that to happen. Please don't allow this to happen, Edmonton. Come on, guys. Let these new lines bolster us into greatness. Come on now. All right, we're oh, we're pouring on the shots early. That's a good sign. Could not capitalize on the power play though, but we're pouring on the shots early. That's good. We need to outplay them. We have to severely outplay them, and we'll still maybe only win by one. That's that's how Gibson can turn a series. Come on, Edmonton. You got to score. Look at many shots we're getting. We got to find the back of the net here in the first. No. After one, no score. 15 shots to 12. They came right back, though, with their shots. So it's kind of like the first few games where it's just wide open action. Whatever. Continue that. Just keep firing the puck on the net. Eventually, they got to go in. We got to get a bounce. Let's go. Power play again. Can we capitalize? Yes, Tyler Benson. Looks like shortly after the power play, unless he is on the power play, which he might be. Might have, Oh, another power play. Come on, score again. Score again. No, but we have a one nothing lead. We're severely out shooting them. We need another goal. Need another goal. There we are. There he is. Called him out, and he steps up in game seven. Nuge makes it two to nothing. There we go. That's what you like to see. Two to nothing going into the third period. 32 shots to 19. Let's go, guys. Shut them down. Markstrom, keep doing what you're doing. The rest of you guys, another goal. I wouldn't say no to it. Kill that off. Kill that off, PK. Big PK. There we go. Huge PK. 15-minute mark. Power play. Can't score. Ugh, Silverberg. They might have had some power play carry over time right there. Two to one. But Osborne gets a big goal there. Makes it three to one. There we go. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Hold it off. Five minutes left, and that should just about do it. The Edmonton Oilers are off to the second round. Wow. Ugh. That was a stressful series. That should not have gone to seven after us taking a three to nothing seriously, but it did. Yeah, Gibson still did so good, but Osborne, man, this guy's turning into a pretty damn good playoff performer. No matter where we put him, he has big games. Look at him go. 
There we are. Yeah, Donovan Osborne's actually... So that first line didn't do great with that kind of setup. I might move it back to how it was. This this line did okay, and we won the game. But I still feel like I should move it back for next series. We can, we can decide on that. Let's just take a look at how we did throughout this series. Alright, so... 2.43 goals for, 2.00 goals against. Yeah, we need to need a bit more goals for. Power play is pretty good though. 23.1%. Three three goals. And penalty kill was outstanding. That was that support we took a shit ton of penalties, but it was a really good penalty kill. And that's good. We also got a shorty. We weren't great on home ice, but we were good on the road, apparently. <laughs> Alright. There's that. And let's check out how the team did. Personal, person, personnel wise, Osborne was six points in seven games. McDavid six points in seven games. Benson had four points in seven games. This, this is a fourth liner, by the way. Um, Drysaddle four points. Could use more from Drysaddle. VC three. Yeah, we just didn't score enough from a lot of our top guys. Dimitrakos only had a couple points. Yeah, Momoto had one. Nuge had one. Kako had two. Need a bit more here. But pretty good job there. Uh, Markstrom didn't out. He didn't play it out of his mind. If we face a get goalie who's not as good as Gibson, I think we could do way, way better. But we'll have to see who our next opponent is, obviously. But for the most part, really good. We won the series. That's all that matters. And we are taking on Colorado in the next round. Oof. Jeepers, Colorado Avalanche. Oh, man, they are bound to be stacked. But how's their goalie situation? Maybe this will be a wide-open scoring series. You never know. And maybe Markstrom, if he plays like he did before, we might be able to get the job done. But should I go back to my old lines with the with all this, with all the center threat? You know, like this. Should we go back to that? Or should we keep it how we did before when we just won game seven? This is what we started off, and we seem to be doing pretty good. But yeah, goals hard to come by sometimes. I don't know. Yamamoto with only one point is kind of kind of frustrating. Like maybe I should have Kako up there too, you know? Maybe Yamamoto's not ready for this. He seems to be slowing that line down. Like, what if we had Kako and Dimitrakos? You know, you never know. I don't know. Could try a lot of different things out, but. We gotta find a way to get something going, definitely. A little bit more scoring. I think we we could definitely be scoring a bit more, I think. Well, we'll see though. We're doing okay. We're winning games. That's what's important. And we're getting some pretty good depth goal scoring. Third line, not so much, but everyone else is doing good. So we'll have to kind of figure that out. But the Colorado Avalanche will be up next. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.